All right, guys, Mr. Mitch here, and we are back out on the water today. Today, we're going to be meeting up with Mike Pinn from Jet Tech, who's going to run through how to launch your jet ski via trailer, because as you can see behind me here, we keep ours on a dock. So I have no experience and I have no clue how to put the jet ski in the water via trailer. So come along for the ride and uh, let's go see Mike. As promised, I've got Mike Penn here from Jet Tech, amazing boat and jet ski products out on the market, Gold Coast based as well, so check them out, jettech.com. But Mike's now gonna run through how to safely get your boat or jet ski from trailer to water. So a few tips, guys, for when you're at the boat ramp launching your ski or your boat. So you probably wanna know how to reverse a trailer when you get to the ramp. You don't wanna really jackknife it and try and 10 times in front of everyone because that's when the pressure starts to get on. So probably best to practice at home. Um, I personally look in my wing mirrors, and, but I tell you what, with a jet ski, it is slightly harder to reverse than a boat because you can't see it as easy. Some people put guide poles on the back of their trailer and that kind of helps improve seeing where your trailer is actually located. But best thing I recommend is practicing at home in your driveway or down the back of a cul-de-sac before going to the ramp where there's other expensive boats and skis around that you could potentially bump into. Make sure your ski and boat is loaded up with all your gear prior to reversing down. So many people I see all the time reverse down then decide to load their boat or ski up and holds everyone else up on the ramp and then you kind of look like the kook there, so don't do that. Second, make sure that your bungs are in. That is probably the most important thing. Nearly everyone's got a story they can tell you about forgetting to put their bungs in. So make sure you take your strap off as well. You don't want to reverse down and then try to reverse your ski or boat off the trail and go, why is it not going anywhere? Because your strap's still on. Um, I personally, what I do, I reverse my ski down. I turn it on, I put it into Ford's gear, so then it's kind of trying to drive a little bit up the trailer, and then I unlatch my shackle, um, and also um, your winch pulley as well, and then I jump on the ski and reverse it off, and then slowly go away from the trailer, and try not to create too much wake, and then bump it up onto the beach. All right, guys, Mike's got a lot of great points there. Um, my favorite one, or the, the one that resonates with me, is practice, practice, practice. No matter what you're doing, whether it's learning to drive the ski, learning to put the ski in the water, washing, whatever it is, it's all about practice, practice, practice. So essentially, when you come to the big dance, it's nothing new. It's like a, it's like back of your hand. You know it inside and out, so you'll be able to put that boat or jet ski straight in the water without any issues. Um, the other major thing would be, when you are putting the ski in, try and line the boat and trailer up with the ramp where you are gonna go so you can just back straight because when you start having to turn, that's when you start getting yourself in trouble. So keep that in mind and uh, don't forget to put the handbrake on in the car, whatever you do. So stay relaxed, maybe even do a checklist so you've got it next to you on your, your car seat because at the end of the day, you don't wanna to forget to put the handbrake on and the whole system rolls back in and your day is definitely absolutely f before you started. So have a, have a great day out on the water. If you've got any questions, drop them below and uh, we've got plenty more videos coming um, with Mike as well. So we'll see you in the next one. I'm out.